they work the same way as a guillotine. Come straight down from its workings into the riverbed. Now the six main spans, you're lucky today, there is one in the defense position, the one to the left of us. Now how they work, as we go through the span we've been allocated, if you look either side of the boat, you can see two large black discs, rounded black discs. Attached to the discs, we have the yellow hydraulic cranes. There's also a diesel driven, driven crane, just in case the hydraulics fail to operate. The barrier itself, it lays in a concrete seal on the riverbed. When we go through the span, we will be going over the top of the barrier. It's quite a simple procedure, very effective. It has saved London from flooding, went over 100 times. They had to hire the river wall, six to eight feet in, in some places. If you, for instance, if you look over here to our right, you can see the river wall, you can see those railings and the grass bank behind the railings. When they close the barrier, the river goes well above these railings, halfway up the bank. Now they do say within the next 20 years or so, because of the global warming and the higher sea levels, this barrier will not be able to hold back the high rising tides. They've got to build a much bigger barrier about 20 miles further down river. You can see one of the old Merseyside ferries. This one's called the Royal Iris. Used to work up on the River Mersey in Liverpool. the year 2000 for the 2000 celebrations it was then known as the dome it wasn't very much of a success it was only open for one year and it was closed for several years after that costing a london taxpayer thousands of pounds in taxes it was just an empty shell and it had to have 24 hours security before we go past the dome here to our left you can see a piece of modern art these are all scaffold poles welded together Keep on looking in the centre and you can figure out the statue of a man. It's called the Millennium Man in a quantum cloud. 